Hello everybody uh, watching this video today. Um, this is Richard Lake speaking. Uh, you might be familiar with some of my software development already for Amiga OS. I've uh, responsible for writing the last program I was iTunes M3U, which allows you to convert a iTunes playlist into the popular M3U format, so you can play it through Amiga and, uh, and UI player and. Uh, all the various uh, players you can use it to, to support your music over network if you really want, or a local copy. And of course, uh, my baby at the moment is Jack, Jack for OS, and uh, now more for OS, and AROS as well. Um, I'm going to start my video, this video by just showing you, well, firstly, I hope it's a good quality, and you can hear what I'm saying, because I'm only using a, a Sony Ericsson Xperia here, it's not the most fantastic phone in the world. So hopefully I'll be able to get the message across to you today. Uh, I'm going to start by just quickly quickly show you around my office. I've gotten into business recently with a friend and a business partner. We do marketing events and uh, websites. I'll be sure to drop the uh, your, our website address in, uh, below the video description so you can take a look. Uh, so we take a look by in front of me. We've got two systems set up. My 24-inch uh, monitor there, hot hooked up to a, a little uh, Intel Mac Mini and to the left not logged in it's timed out I wanted to show you in all its glory <laughs> is my iMac system and this has been used to uh, whilst I'm testing and developing Jack Amp this is sitting here the iTunes all the music stored on it and if I swing round show you the other half of the studio which is currently in development it gets a little bit noisy sometimes we're going to have a, a partition built here because we have a studio we've got a radio station in here as well uh, they've been here for just about four or five days now so like a community radio station serving Grimsby, Cleefops, Inimigam if you want to uh, check out their website it's sgradio.com which we put together for them just a little over a week ago the site went up and here, here we are this is my Amiga 1 500 system running Amiga S 4.1 update 4, let me get that right and here it is, this is the case what Amiga kit supplied me uh, just over a year and a half ago I think now, April 2000 and uh, Perhaps even longer than that. It's a uh, had it for a good year and a half, I think. It's the it's a case they gave me there, Mega One Five Hundred, brilliant machine, excellent. Uh, <laughs> it's only the Mega S which sort of lets it down really uh, from time to time on the third-party software. Um, so what I'm showing you on the screen now is that's got Code Bench open in the background. That's what my uh, that's the ID. IDE I use for all uh, programming. Uh, the program language itself is Hollywood from Airsoft Software. Uh, if anybody has been reading the forums recently, particularly Amiga World Forum and Amiga, and you will see the, uh, the news item this week is Andreas has released a MV, M4A and AAC um, update to his AV codec which means now I can play iTunes music which is something I've been waiting for months now in order to complete the music functionality in Jack uh, at the moment it's set up to play my music exclusively over the local network from the iMac over there behind me and it's really quick really is quick um, Eventually, you'll be able to play music straight off your local iTunes library if you copy it to your own drive. You'll be able to specify the path, basically, where your library is. And if you've got a Samba set up, you've got a Samba network set up, you can uh, theoretically play it from a PC as well. It shouldn't be a problem. Um, so, moving on to Jack. There you go, there's a familiar interface in the corner. You haven't seen it before. Uh, it's application's got a host of features uh, App Store, Amiga S, Noise Base, Screen Capturing, 
uh, there's a basic file manager in there and the thing I wanted to show you today is the let me just press OK on the, the battery is already let me just press OK get rid of that um, the thing I want to show you today is the music what I'll be working on and it was really quick to get it working to be honest uh, thanks to the power of Hollywood it's really easy to get coding you know what things we'll probably see in C++ will take you forever to put together so just press F5 on the keyboard to jump into the the music player and here it comes up you know, it's glory if, if I use a put page up and page down on the keyboard I can find some music with a bit of artwork there uh, Lee Dixon, let's get excited uh, it tells you what uh, genre is, duration when it, what year it came out, all the usual stuff press info on the right comes up with all the tag information click any field you want, type it in there and it will update the ID for your tag information uh, of course it shows the artwork there well scaled up and play music itself, well um, I'll play a quick quick clips of some of this music because obviously I want the audio left on this YouTube video uh, at the very top we've got Tribal Dance to Unlimited, do a click that hopefully you can hear it in the background let's just leave it a second so you can hear it, it's through. we've got these buttons working for mute and full volume this don't work just yet but if I use plus and minus on the keyboard you can hear it getting quieter and loud again uh, I can I should be able to double click another track for to limited and there you go it's uh, playing that now I toggle between pause and stop uh, I've not really finished these yet so there's quite a few bugs concerned with switching tracks and go previous goes back to another track for them I don't think it will go forward yet at the moment though oh it does sometimes <laughs> Uh, great. So there's a, there's a lot of work to be done on this uh, music interface about the search engine in the corner and that's really needs tidying up and well I ain't even started it I ain't started it yet but it, mm, I don't really like that drop shadow thing going on so it's tidying up a little bit but everything else uh, which was working in the previous jackOS version is still there if you ever indeed got to see this interface and uh, the bottom right corner uh, zoom right in you can click this icon and it's occupied into the corner there, it gives you a little interface off to the side. Um, yes, yeah, so there's still quite a bit to do, uh, but everything works. There's a little sync button in the corner. Every now and again, you might want to refresh the library, so it equals what's on your iTunes on your on your other machine. So uh, that's uh, Jack for Amiga OS, Small for OS, and now AOS, the uh, Jack tunes plugging on the way hopefully uh, in the next week or two well uh, I, I do hope you've enjoyed this uh, short video what uh, well introduction to the office uh, and an update on Jack OS uh, thanks for watching please do leave your comments in the video uh, do, as always you know I, I do like reading those I like to uh, get a bit of feedback from users uh, on the experiences using Jack and the Amiga OS in general really and uh, the Amiga OS machines uh, again uh, thanks for watching see you soon